Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and it's weekly reading for October 28th to November the 3rd. Uh, so Capricorn, this week we have the Rama Oracle card. We have the Seven of Swords, the Hermit, the World, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Capricorn, it's not subtle energy. Um, pretty significant reading here. You know, the amount of Major Arcana um, in a spread which you have half of your spread here usually indicates the significance of an event and um, you know these are huge huge cards as well with the Wheel of Fortune and the world so I think a lot of you know that there's a situation um, unfolding that um, is relating to you know the big themes of life maybe karmic contracts ending we have massive completion here with the Wheel of Fortune and the world so I feel like some of you are closing a chapter you know, and we really, we all are, because we are but two months away from closing out a decade, a decade, a ten. So, you know, a lot of us are tying up loose ends. A lot of situations are coming to a head. Some of them are coming to a head in quite dramatic ways. But this is all so that, you know, we can clear the path and we can start our new decade with a new energy, with, a, you know, a clear slate. So... Let's see how that plays out in your reading, Capricorn. I'm just going to start off by reading out your Imrama Oracle card. Where are you being called to journey to? The Celtic word Imrama means journey of the soul. A voyage on which we don't know where we're going, but the soul knows the way. If you pulled this card, you're either being called on a soul journey or are already on one. It could be to a physical ancient place or metaphoric. When we journey to places that our soul remembers, a shift takes place, both within us and to the planet as well. You are being called to journey to a place that is sacred to your soul. Yeah, so look, you know, you've got the hermit here. It fits in beautifully. I feel like some of you are at the moment on that inner voyage, um, on that inner voyage of, you know, understanding why situations have played out, how they have, you know, what that means for your, you know, your life purpose. Um, I think you're trying to make sense of things. You know, like I said, you really are in a climactic point of everything kind of um, coming to a head. Ah, it's interesting. Yeah, it's okay. Recent past here, Capricorn. We've got Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like some of you have gone through some kind of difficult situation, deception, betrayal, or something like that. You know, this is a situation that I think has kind of played out. It's been quite dramatic. It's come to a head. And, you know, I think this is what you're really trying to make sense of it. Because here we have you, Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles, you know, Earth sign energy. I think this represents you, um, you know, going about her business and doing what she does well, which is, you know, nurturing, being earthy, earthly, um, minding her abundance, abundance, building her abundance, being grounded, being compassionate, being mature, being all of the, that Queen energy thing. You know, that Queen of Pentacles is somebody who can go out and earn the money and look after the household. She's just going about her business. But as she's been going about her business, I feel like somebody has not had your best interests at heart with that Seven of Swords. So maybe because you've been so busy, you know, doing all the work, yeah, didn't notice initially that there was something going on behind the scenes, something sly. You know, it could be somebody undermining you in the workplace, um, you know, or basically um, you know framing you to that you've done something wrong something like that um, can be somebody just stealing your thunder somebody you know constantly putting you down or um, you know it's that kind of energy it's that kind of sneaky slight energy could even be somebody with the Queen of Pentacles here somebody taking financially from you sort of draining your resources even draining your energetic resources something has been draining you and um, yeah, I really feel that you are, you're in the aftermath of that now. I think you're in the healing phase, but this is sort of what happened in the past. Um, you know, obviously that is coming to a big closure this week, but um, I feel like that is what has gone down. Yeah, so focus energies this week. We have the Hermit and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like after the situation kind of played out and, you know, everything was revealed, I think you know um, about this deception, betrayal or this undermining, whatever it is, it's general reading, guys, so it's hard to, you know, to tell. I think some of you have really, really felt the need to um, retreat 
um, and all this is you know what you'll be doing this week is really going within and really trying to um, understand this situation Capricorn because I feel that you know you were just being your normal you know earthy um, compassionate self and I think you're really trying to you know think well why would somebody have taken advantage of me in that way so I feel like you're really going through a period of um, deep introspection, of reflection, and searching and seeking for those answers within yourself. And I think this is, you know, what the Imrama Oracle card relates to. You know, you're on that soul journey. You're trying to understand things at a deeper level so that you can evolve. And I think potentially, you know, you are evolving and ascending Capricorn and, you know, <sighs> Unfortunately, we're kind of in that state at the moment where the, the separation, the divide is becoming known. So some of us, you know, are beginning to shift into that 5D consciousness um, that we moved into near the beginning of, year, of the year. But there are a group of people or a, a big group of people who are still firmly rooted in the 3D consciousness. Now, the 3D consciousness can be... Um, it can just be that unconscious kind of energy, but being very focused on... Um, you know physical practical realm rather than the spiritual realm but some of these people you know can be stuck in those in the jealousy and the greed and the taking from others and that kind of thing and I think you might have just um, you know run into somebody who is really in that energy Capricorn so I think this this week you know you really are taking that time to to heal and um, I feel like for some of you there was an end of a journey because of the situation. Maybe you had to leave a job. Maybe you left a relationship or a friendship. And you're really considering, you know, where are you being called to journey to? And, um, you know, with that link to the star energy here, I think you need to take some time out to heal, to restore and to renew. And, you know, within time, you know, that star energy is going to start glowing brighter. And maybe at the start, you might only be able to see one or two steps in front of you. But over time, over the next few weeks, you know, you, that path will start to be revealed to you. But, you know, you're sort of in that period of in-between at the moment. But with the Wheel of Fortune here, um, Capricorn, it says that, you know, this was predestined. This was meant to play out in this way. Um, potentially there was a life lesson for you to learn or a karmic contract. The Wheel of Fortune often links to those karmic contracts. But it's saying now that it's completing, you know, absolutely, since we have the world here as well, you've learned what you needed to learn from it. So it's very important that you extract yourself from that situation. If we stay, you know, in this energy or around this person or, you know, this job, this, this relationship, whatever it is, that's when we can really start to hurt ourselves or hold ourselves back and, um, you know, sort of get off, off track a little bit on our life path. That wheel really wants to turn for you now, Capricorn, and bring you much bigger and better things. It wants to bring you a new beginning. Um, wheel of Fortune is said to have a 10-year energy, Capricorn. I strongly feel that you are um, clearing out, you're purging the old um, to end your 10-year cycle. That, um, you know, whatever you decide to do now, you're really setting up for your next decade. So it's actually really exciting, even though it's it can be just jolly painful when we're clearing the slate we have to remember that it's happening for our greatest good because there's much bigger and better things on the horizon so yeah i mean near future we have the world and we have the knight of wands so um you know that door is closing capricorn we have strong ending energy here with the world which is the last card in the tarot deck so it says that you know whatever the magician is the first card of the tarot deck set out to to manifest using his will and intention has materialized in the world and completed so maybe at, at, at some point this whatever the situation relates to whether it was a love or a job might have been something that you actually hoped and wished for and that would have been because you know on a soul level you knew that you know you'd come in here and you'd agreed when you incarnated, or if you believe in it, <laughs> or, or if you don't believe that, but um, that you, you knew that there was a lesson in there for you, so your soul was very drawn to that experience. But, you know, it's completed now, so we need to know when it's time to step through the hoop of life into our new chapter. This is the sliding door moment, Capricorn, where we release that. Between the Wheel of Fortune and the world, I, I think you're definitely going to know um, when it's time to jump. Um, you know, in the flow of life, you know, getting back in the dance again, dancing into your new chapter. And we have the Knight of Wands here too, which 
I love in the combination with the world because the Knight of Wands is an adventurer, a passionate explorer, exploring new territory, new terrain, beginning to explore your, you know, your new beginning. We have the three sand dunes here, you know, linking to the number three, which in tarot is the beginning of new manifestations. This is your starting point. This is the, the first few pages of your new chapter. Um, you know, it can be can be a fire sign person coming in to, to help you with this transition or who's going to be involved in your, your new chapter, uh, Capricorn. So that would be Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. Um, but either way, you know, this is really about you re-establishing your sense of passion and fire and enthusiasm for life. So I really feel like that's how you're going to be um, entering this new chapter. Uh, you know, I feel like the, the previous situation really did drain your energy there was healing that was required and this is you you know really um in a healed state ready to kind of burst in with full energy and enthusiasm for your new chapter beautiful reading capricorn some really powerful cards um you know it's a shame that we have to go through the situations but that's how we evolve and grow and there's just only like amazing new beginnings on the horizon for you so Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, keep in mind it's a general reading, so it won't be for every one of you. Um, you know, feel free to leave me a comment. I'd love to know how it's playing out in your daily life. And I'll see you back here next week for another reading.